Hi, my name is Lexi and welcome to Future Play. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the future of flying cars. But first things first, what is SP then? Well, let's think about it as the new frontier of motorsports. We're talking about high-speed racing in the skies with vehicles that are not just typical race cars. Those are the flying cars. And the future possibilities are as limitless as the sky itself. And I may be biased because I'm racing for them personally, but I'm not the only one. So along with my co-pilots Bruno Senna and Zefatali Welsh, we are racing for the future. Just a couple of weeks back, the world has witnessed the incredible airspeed race. The skies became a racetrack and these high-performance flying machines showcased the true potential of aerial racing. It was a sight to behold and it made us wonder, can we get more of this in the future? How does it work? Airspeed aircraft uses virtual reality gates that are added on top of our FPV feet. And we will talk about FPV in the future episodes, don't worry about it. So be sure that you are subscribed so you will not miss on any of those. The track moves along with the aircraft using its GPS position and we as pilots do see the track even though it's not really physically there. And our spectators can also see it throughout the screens on which we are showing each one of the pilot screens. That's it. Which means that those races can be set up in any type of a location worldwide. All we need is just to bring our computers and just set it up. As of now, the aircraft are being controlled by the pilots on the ground, but in the future, it's about to change. But when is the future and how can you get involved right now? Well, let's say the future is closer than you think. Major projects from industry leaders are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Many companies are working tirelessly to make flying cars not just a reality, but a part of everyday lives. And yet Airspeed is the one company that has the most testing and flights under their belts. And here's the exciting part for the aspiring pilots. If you have previously seen Airspeed and dreamt of becoming an Airspeed pilot, the way there may be actually paved for you already. Thanks to technologies such as FPV drone racing and eSports, the training ground for the next generation of flying car pilots is expanding. And FPV racing is where Zef has started his own journey. I came through the FPV drone racing world. So that sort of came about, I was looking at tech to sort of offset the fact that I wasn't surfing anymore. I was getting pretty sad and I was like, oh, how do I get myself out of this hole? I was like, okay, this, this forefront of technology, which was these really fast racing drones wearing these VR type goggles and experiencing that with the consciousness externally through a piece of technology. I was like, okay, yeah, I can get on board with that. If you're not interested in FPV drone racing, Celeros as eSports may be a way in for you. Which means that you can eventually exchange a simulator or a game into a real aircraft. And last but not least, Bruno Senna has joined from a way different perspective, which has been the Formula One. So maybe car racing may also be a way in for you. And this all together makes flying car racing an ultimate machina sport. The human and the machine. Imagine expanding your skills on a drone racing circuit, mastering the art of navigation and developing the split-second decision-making need to navigate the skies at breakneck speeds. It's not only about the machines, it's about skills, precision and passion of the pilots towards racing. Obviously, getting into the flying car racing requires an athlete to take care of their body and mind, which is actually something that connects many of the Machina Sports categories. If you want to learn more about Machina Sports, here's an intro video for you somewhere in the cars and also down below in the description box. All good, but is flying car racing something that we actually need? Have you seen the quote at the beginning of this video? It's one of my favorites. Auto racing has begun five minutes after the second car was built. Henry Ford. Why should flying cars be any different? Of course, they have uses such as personal transportation, getting to really remote areas, helping during catastrophes, but let's be honest, we're humans and we like to make things a little bit more exciting. Plus, have you ever seen pod racing in Star Wars? This is where we're going. Above all, flying car racing series may normalize flying cars in general for the mainstream audience. For example, whenever I tell people that I'm a flying car racing pilot, I need to have my phone at the ready to show pictures. Otherwise, no one's gonna believe me or they may say sometimes, sometimes already, oh, I heard about it. So we're getting there. 
In the future, we may be hosting really huge events. Can you imagine flying cars just zooming through the cities or really amazing landscapes with tens of thousands of fans cheering? What are your thoughts about flying cars? Leave me a comment down below and let's have a conversation. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up to help us make Algorithm extremely happy. And don't forget to follow us on all of our socials, which are linked down below in the description box. We're sharing some really cool stuff. And again, if you want to learn about what is Machina Sports, I'm gonna just leave you a video right here. Click it, it's fun.